There's a great deal of emphasis on apprenticeships at the moment from government, which is fantastic news. I do, however, have a slight concern that there's a little bit of an overemphasis on numbers, and we're very much concerned with quality, every bit as much as we are with quantity. And whilst it's great to see the numbers increasing, and certainly the intakes this year have been very good, what you see here are really, really the cream of the crop. And these guys point the way, really, to what we want to achieve and what we want to see coming into the industry. You know, one of the other things that government are concerned about is productivity. And actually, productivity in the automotive sector is very, very high. You know, we're, we're a, a shining example. And that's because of people like this. You know, people whose skills are at the very, very highest level. And what I hope to get out of this whole uh, th th this whole show is that we get more young people coming along and seeing what can be achieved seeing what it's really like to work at the highest level in our industry today and come along and join us the skill show is the biggest careers event in, in the whole of the UK I and mean, there's probably going to be around 90 to 100,000 people come through here over the next two to three days and it's fantastic that we get the opportunity to showcase what we do I mean our presence here is enormous we've got Body, you know, body repair, we've got paint, we've got you know, the high, very high level mechanical and electrical uh, stuff going on. We've got heavy vehicle here too, which is great, very good presence. We've got guys here, you know, there's a big industry presence here. You know, we've got other, we've got manufacturers here, we've got you know, the guys from BMW just along the way there show, uh, showcasing a, a BMW i8 and talking about electric cars and everything. It's a brilliant opportunity for people to come here and really see what careers are all about and that's the other part of what we're doing here you know we've got the whole team here working on uh, giving giving out careers advice and it's brilliant I mean they're they're they're, they're gratifyingly busy and uh, I just you know would like to see this turn into a, a, a flood of people wanting to come and work in our industry One of the other things that I think is a concern, we, we, we now have a, an, a, an increased intervention age as it's called, so youngsters have to stay on in, in, in education or training until they're 18. But from a school's point of view, there's absolutely no incentive whatsoever to talk about career opportunities and vocational opportunities. They get their funding based on, on the number of pupils that they have. So, you know, th there simply isn't a meaningful careers information and advice service, particularly in, in England, but generally across the whole of the UK. And that really has to be addressed. We want to see more youngsters being given opportunities to come and find out more about the, uh, about the careers that are on offer and, and to see more high quality youngsters coming in, a, in our direction. Oh,